Hi, welcome back to a brand new Coffee Tech Break with Jan. Good to see you back again on my uh, channel with tips and tricks, latest and greatest uh, and unboxing videos. Uh, so as you might have seen, there were quite some product launches uh, from uh, Poly the last uh, period. And uh, of course, I always try to get my hands also on it uh, to, uh, to show it on my uh, channel. Now, I got a brand new box uh, that uh, came in today. And of course, I didn't want to miss it out and show it to you. Very nice box, a small box. I can put almost a mouse in here. Uh, uh, let me show you what is inside. It's sort of recycled uh, plastic box. Uh, now, let me show you what is in there. And here you go. This is the Poly P5. Now, let me show you. As you probably have seen uh, some uh, unboxing videos, of course, I will show you some additional tips and tricks uh, and how to use the P5 in all kinds of different uh, uh, scenarios. Now, it's a very nice package. It has a protector. As you see, sort of blue protection uh, on it. So we can take that off. Very nice. All right. And yeah, what is more in the box? Eh, I can look more in the box. Here is nothing. Is there something underneath? Yes, we have some additional books right here. So let me take them out. And let me show you. So we got some safety instructions there, always good. And of course the quick start guide for the Poly P5. Very nice, which of course I will show you. So as you can see, it got here some instructions uh, how to connect it to the laptop. You can use that and uh, that clamp underneath. And also here you got some instructions to use camera and put it in different positions but i will also show it to you uh, and not only the camera but i will also quickly uh quickly walk you through the poly lens app uh, as there is uh, also an app where you can do all sort of uh, sort of tweaking and and tuning and software updates i will also show that now the camera itself the P5, uh, the specification. So it has 80 degree lens. So that means uh, when you put it here on your screen, uh, it only yeah, puts you in the picture as much as possible. So it takes out all that additional noise in the room. Uh, it could be sometimes that the camera is 120 degree, but that means uh, you always need to clean up the mess uh, in, uh, in your room. And this one is already ready to go. You put it on your screen uh, and you should be able to, uh, to use it. Now, there's a sort of uh, clamp also underneath there, uh, which is, I think, very nice. So you can put it, yeah, and just uh, fix this to any type of, uh, of a screen, uh, your laptop or a screen which you have already in the room. Uh, there's a 1080p lens in here. Uh, now the camera is UVC compatible and uh, so you can easily connect it uh, to a Windows laptop uh, plug and play or to your uh, MacBook no problem it has a team certification zoom certification etc and uh, that is all good to go what is important also is there is a privacy shutter and uh, so I can rotate the front side there is a sort of rotation here and that will mute the camera when I'm doing this, what is important, it doesn't mute the mic. So the P5 also has a built-in microphone, but it's a directional mic. Uh, so what is happening is I, when I have this camera in front of me, uh, it is a directional microphone. So it will only pick up the sound from me. Now, if there's any noise around me, it will automatically also filter that out. Uh, or when I'm not speaking, uh, somebody makes some noise or other noise outside there uh, you got trash bin a uh, noise or something uh, at home office you get all sort of noises uh, and that will be filtered out with a p5 uh, uh, mic so i think that's also a very powerful one 
the cable. There's also a cable here. So let me show you. It's approximately one and a half meter long. So I think that's a very nice one, as you can see. Uh, so you got quite some length to put the camera, for example, on top of your screen uh, or on top of your cam and uh, your laptop and just hide that cable. And I think that's also a good point. Now, let me connect this one. So I wanted to show you also the lightning on the camera. So as you can see, there is a shark light uh, here on top of it. And the shark light has an indicator because when I rotate this one, what you will see, it will become red. And so it also gives an impression to uh, the people around you that the camera is now muted. And uh, don't forget, uh, not the microphone. So this mutes only the camera. Now, what I think is a big one and was also well appreciated is if you open up here the back door, so you can open up here a back door, what you will get, let me show you that, is you will get an additional USB A port. And so it will take a USB A port from the laptop, but it will also give you one back. And that's a nice one because that means you can attach a wired headset there. So if you got a wired headset or you can use the BT600 dongle, eh? this dongle, eh? which also gives connectivity to any headset from Poly or uh, Plantronics. What you also can do is, for example, use it with a Sync20. And eh? so you can easily combine those two together. And actually, uh, Poly has those kits available eh? where you can combine this with a wired headset or combine it with uh, uh, the thing. So I just always uh, recommend to check out uh, on the internet to find that combination. But we got those package where this all comes together in one package uh, and it can uh, send uh, be sent to the user. Now what I think is also an interesting use case and of course uh, this is what I'm always trying to show on my channel, show some additional options, is because that you have that USB-A port, you could also connect a light to it. And uh, so let me show you that what is happening. And that creates also a very nice use case. And uh, so all of a sudden, you got here some additional light with the P5 available. So if I need to show something, or show something on the product, uh, I can do that. I can also take this off. So this is attached, and as you will see, you got here also a uh, tripod connector. Uh, so this is by default, it's connected to this one. I can take this off and suddenly you can use this to point, for example, to a specific product. Uh, or a specific device that you have on a hardware device, but it, it's now combined with this light. Uh, I think a very interesting use case. And of course, because it is a generic tripod connector, what you now can also do is just do something like this. And voila, you can combine this now and even have it on a small tripod altogether. So I think this is also a very nice use case. You don't need the lightning eh, for the, as a webcam functionality, eh, because as I said, there's already some low light compensation techniques uh, in this uh, camera. But I can imagine also eh, from my side, uh, I will probably use this in the future to show some products eh, and do some uh, close up, some close up shots of those products. And that is always handy with some additional lightning now i got the p5 now connected to my laptop eh? so let me show you what is happening with the lens up eh? you are using that on my pc now welcome to the poly lens app so this is a app which is running here on your windows pc or on your mac uh, and this is uh, to manage all the devices, the poly devices, uh, which are connected through USB 
on this PC. They will automatically show up here. So as soon as some sort of device is connected, it will show up right here uh, and uh, you're able to change settings, software updates, etc. And I will show you that now for the P5. So as you can see, the P5 is connected now. Uh, it will show you here, uh, it is connected, it shows you the software version. If there is a software version, eh, it will prompt you here to, uh, to upgrade uh, the camera. The second tab here is for controls. Eh? So here you can do some manual PTC if you want. Eh? It's got a four times digital zoom. Eh? So you can also adjust that a little bit eh, to, your, uh, to your needs in your room. Now you also can set some favorites. Eh? So in case you got some favorites or you want to use it in different rooms, you can also do that as you see right here. <clears throat> and the nice thing is you can also change it. So for example, eh, change it to a specific room, like office one, office two, or any room, eh, even if you're sitting in the garage, eh, you can change that to a specific room and adjust the lightning. And here you see all those specific settings eh, which you can make for this camera, eh, which makes this, I think, very, very powerful. Now. Let me go to the settings, general settings. So here you can set the lightning, uh, the 50 or the 60 Hertz for the anti-flicker. Uh, if you got some LED or something which is uh, flickering, you can change that right here. Now, if there is something with the device or not working properly, uh, I always say uh, just try uh, restore defaults uh, so you can always see if that works and solves your issue. Now, if you need to go to uh, startup guides, to manuals, there's here the fourth tab, and here you find quick start guide, uh, a user guide. You also have the device logs here. Eh? So if you need to collect some information or you need to upload a specific uh, software version, you can do that right there. In case you have contact with the support, and uh, then it makes sense to get a serial number. Now, I think there's also a serial number right here. Let me check that. Yeah, it's right here. So you can always find that here, as you can see here on this, uh, yeah, this clamp eh, which comes with the device. So that also has the uh, the serial number. Yeah, and here you can find all that information. Very nice. So look forward eh, to uh, uh, some more videos about the lens app. Uh, as there's a lot of things happening. So you can uh, at the end have your insights. Uh, so how many times are you using specific devices? Uh, you can uh, set some health and wellness settings uh, to, uh, to, to look outside sometimes uh, to your neighbors or uh, uh, to uh, get some water. Uh, so there's all sort of information which will be uh, available in the Lens app. I'm using it now in combination with lens in the cloud and so here i can find and collect all the information of my uh, of my users uh, which i will show you but you can also just install a standalone lens app uh, if you got one of those devices and you just want to manage it yourself of course that is also a possibility uh, best practices here uh, poly support and uh, there's all kinds of uh, settings but i will walk that through uh, in a, in a separate uh, session now let me show you quickly in the lens cloud uh, so this is the lens cloud portal and let me go now to my inventory you can you can search for the p5 uh, and here you go it will search for the devices uh, and these are the devices which are connected through and uh, the lens app on the pc and uh, they were automatically uh, being pushed to this cloud portal uh, so it will show for me as managing uh, this company i can exactly see uh, how many p5s are there in use what software version uh, are uh, the users using etc uh, so i can also click on it and i can find some details so if there are some issues uh, with this uh, user i can always check uh, on the software version etc uh, so this is freely available eh, at a certain level so you can always get your free lens uh, cloud account eh, to uh, to do some basic management things but we expect also some uh, different licensing to use some additional functionality eh, in uh, in the future so i would say just get an account and uh, and play with this oh here ends the 
unboxing of the Poly Studio P5. Hopefully you uh, enjoyed it. Of course, there's a lot of more things that we have, uh, but I will do some deep dives in the future uh, about the Poly Lens and how to deploy the app, etc. Uh, but I'm always trying to keep it uh, within uh, a coffee break, especially the, the unboxing. But uh, I expect to arrive more boxes uh, the next uh, couple of weeks. So also uh, expect more unboxing videos from Jan. Thank you for watching uh, and I'm already looking forward to the next video.